Checking in with Jill Bellin right now at 7.54. She's hanging out with the VIPs, getting ready for the Calgary Marathon on Sunday. The Scotiabank Calgary Marathon this upcoming Sunday. It is going to be a big one, and some of the best in the nation are here in Calgary at competing, and we're happy that it is a beautiful day lined up for Sunday as well. I'm being joined this morning by Lanny and Reed. Both have qualified for the Olympics. Reed competed in London, and Lanny just won the Canadian Championship in the 10K uh, last weekend, so you're running the half. And tell us what you're aspiring to accomplish here in Calgary. Um, well, this year Calgary doubles as the national half marathon championships as well, so I'd like to go back to back and win a national title again this weekend. Okay, awesome. Best of luck to you. How fast was your 10K last weekend? Uh, 31.48 ish, I think. Yeah, 48 or 49. That is fast, and uh, hoping to do double that distance, or not hoping to, you will do double that distance this weekend. Uh, Reed, where does this lie in your training year? Uh, I ran a marathon seven weeks ago, so now I'm building back up. And I'm happy to be back at a Canadian Championship. I haven't won one since 2012. Mm -hmm. It's been a few years. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to line up uh, you know, for the half marathon here. Okay, well, we're, both ha oh, we're happy to have you both here in Calgary and competing this weekend, really raising the stakes for everyone who's running. I mean, over 12,000 people will be competing in the Scotiabank Calgary Marathon this upcoming weekend. For those who aren't elite and running as fast as you guys do, what words of wisdom do you have for someone who's maybe doing their first marathon and going into those last kilometers? I'll start out and be patient off the gun and then... Uh, the last, you know, couple kilometers, just put it all out there. You've done the training and just push, and see, push towards the finish line. Okay, push towards the finish line. Reed, what would you say to those who are looking for some inspiration? Well, I can't stress pacing yourself properly from the beginning. That yeah. is really important in the marathon. Um, but just trust your training and do the same things you've been doing, you know, for the past, uh, hopefully, at least six weeks of training, maybe more. And, um, yeah, just trust your fitness and make sure you get all your drinks in. Okay, yeah, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Uh, that is important. And celebrate at the finish line. Now, for you guys, it really is about those teeny tiny nuances that make the big differences. So with the altitude here in Calgary, are you feeling that? Does that factor in? Um, it will. I haven't run yet since I've gotten here, but I'm sure on race day you'll feel it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And how about yourself, Reed? Yeah, I've raced here before, and you don't really feel it, but you do notice a difference in your time. But um, I, I've trained enough at altitude. I don't think it's going to be so much of a problem. Okay. Confident runners we have here and uh, looking forward to cheering them on on the race route as you can. And the Scotiabank Calgary Marathon takes place this upcoming Sunday. If the route wasn't out and back, these guys would cross me even before I reached halfway <laughs> in my half time, guys. It's yeah. embarrassing. They you know, that's are what they fast. do, though. You know, obviously they've put in the uh, put in the hours, put in the kilometers. So they are fast runners. It's man. nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, you're going to want to cheer on Nikki Payne this weekend. She's hitting yuck yucks for a few shows, but she's here on BT First and still to come. We talked to best-selling author Philip Slate.